What's up, Jay Maxwell here, and on this channel you will find photography behind the scenes and virtual job shadows. So if you're into that kind of content, be sure to subscribe to this channel because videos like this will be posted weekly. In this video in particular, I'm taking you behind the scenes of an engagement session. But before we get into it, I will warn you, I do look a little different because this was recorded some time ago, but it's still relevant. I do go into detail, let you in on my process and even some posing. So let's dive into it. I hope you enjoy. See you on the other side. So real quick, what I was doing right here is that Sophie was a little taller than Zoo. So how you combat this, and for lack of a better term, you kind of have her spread the legs open. When you do that, you become a little shorter. Let's get to it. Don't judge me, just met him my day, so I had to get his name. I was calling him other names. <laughs> Always remember, guys, don't get caught up in what you're doing, you know. Things happen. It's in the moment. Things happen. So you always gotta be ready. Be ready. Kiss my cheeks. Show me that you. Show me that you love me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That's one thing, guys. Um, I'm uh, in my engagement sessions. I am a heavy believer in touch. Like you must show that this couple love each other. So touch is everything. I think something's about to come up here. <laughs> so you probably won't be able to hear exactly what I'm saying here. But um, while I was photographing her, her hands were like super straight on, on Zeus tress. And um, it just wasn't, it just wasn't flattering at all. They looked like, uh, or whatnot. So what I had her do was I just had to soften the hands a little bit. I mean, not too much, but just there's a difference between this and this, like huge difference. So let's get back into it. Beautiful. Do you see the hands? You see the difference that the hands, the soft hands make? I got you, I got you. It's all about the pose. If, you don't, if you're not looking like a contortionist while you're shooting, you're probably doing it wrong. It's not true. Beautiful. Um, Pat? Yeah, I so while I was fo while I was photographing uh, Soph and Zoo, um, you know it's very natural for women to just do this, right? But in an engagement session, in a portrait session, um, that's not it's not too flattering. You know what I mean? Because you want to show the shape of the woman, the curve um, of the woman. And the thing is, Soph has a heavy bottom. 
So um, for another shoot, maybe that's flattering, but for an engagement session, no. So what I had to do was actually put the hips back and it still, and it still is flattering. So I had to put the hips back and it creates that shape. You'll see in a, in a bit. Don't Maybe judge me, your, I was teaching there. Take teaching. your hoodie off so I can see your face. <laughs> you see that? And it also kind of like, it also is like slims, like slim, slimmer, slim her down. Putting your hips towards the camera, you understand, is going to make you look much bigger than you are. But if you put the hips away, it will make you or your client, um, it will be much flattering. Let's get to it. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at God, we got it. <laughs> oh, they just love each other. Look at that one there. Beautiful. There we go. All right, boss. Okay. Yes, honey. Yes. So the same thing applies. I hate to see photography where women look straight, okay? Like men, like think about it. When you see a woman walking the street, you don't like them because they look like this. <laughs> you understand? While, when they're walking, you see their hips moving. You understand? You see, I don't have to go into it, but that's what you want to create. You understand? You want to create that shape that uh, I feel like I'm blabbing. Let's get into it. So turn the chin a little bit. There we go. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Where's the ring? Yeah, it's honey. Hey. <laughs> That's natural, right there. And what you can't see from this angle, it usually helps when you have uh, the significant other right next to you, right? Because usually when they're focusing on the camera, they're very, like, very conscious, self-conscious. But if, they ha if you put the significant other mom or whatever <laughs> right next to you while you're shooting, they're so much more comfortable. So that is what I did here. Boom. <laughs> so I'm teaching her how to walk. One. Just walking in real life. Oh Jesus. Because walking in real life, walking in real life is way different from walking for the camera. So let's get back into it. Not that. <laughs> and you'll see it soon. And that was the first time. Like we literally just did this and You can, you can play with the hat, your hair, you know? Okay, she's so ready. Ow. So right here, I'm pretty much doing the same thing. I'm teaching the couple to walk like they're two, right? Thank you. 
<laughs> it's one thing I, I really do dig the Sony camera system, but that focus, the, the touch screen, it does something with my nose. Hey guys, real quick, if you've gotten this far and you're kind of liking what's going on, subscribe. I'm, like I said, I'm going to be having content like this weekly. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Same thing applies, guys. <laughs> Gotta get that shape. Damn. Ow, look at that. Wow. I see him what, if, what if I had you... And again, touch. Pistol. Touch. Shoulders. See, just subconsciously, if you look, you can see that she was holding his hand. See, it's just that kiss, just that kiss. Confidence, kabam. Mm. Yeah. Then we can um, we can use his hand to hug around her waist. Just straighten up the front. A little bit. There we go. Awesome. There we go. That's it right there. Beautiful. So, um, real quick, right here, when I, you know, um, I don't cover the stomach because someone is whatever, right? I don't believe. I don't believe in that. Um, prior to that, I take care of that by just saying, like, hey, make sure you wear clothes that's flattering to your body. Now, this is what happens in sessions. There's something about their body that they're very conscious about. So what they do is they try to hide it, right? And so in this session, um, my client, she was covering her stomach. Now, I didn't ask, I didn't ask this because I didn't want, you know, if that's the case, I didn't want her to be self-conscious about it, right? What we were saying is like, hey, I don't want to take a picture and she see a picture and it looks like, and if that was going in her head, she's like, you know, oh my gosh, I was covering myself. In that moment, what we did was we took um, Zoo's hand, her fiance, and embraced her instead. So when she looks back at these images, it's not, I don't like this image because of whatever. She just remembers that her honey was embracing her. Because these are things that we have to also take into consideration when we're dealing with clients. You know, it's more than just a beautiful picture. It's a lot of things psychologically that is going on um, when, we're photo when, <laughs> when we're photographing people that are not models or usually in front of the camera. Give me, give me the slay again, but looking at this way. You know, I love again, that. I'm trying to keep that, that I'm trying to keep that shape, shape, trying to keep that shape going. I mean, so, there you go. Yep, at me. Chin up, I love the confidence. There you know, just keep it flattering. Keep it flattering, guys. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Bring it 
I think it's going to be the one of the last ones, guys. Beautiful. Pons look down on his jacket, look, look down his shoulder. There we go, right there. There we go. That's great, that's great. Yeah. Don't judge me. I'm teaching. And um, you can open them. No, that's your, that's your. There we go.